Well, hello there, everyone, and I've been quite ill, so I haven't put up a video in a while, but I come at you today with an interesting topic. Um, I was sort of discussing this one to myself, you know, when you have those moments where you sort of just talk to yourself and you're just like, blah, 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 and I was just talking to myself about Guild Wars 2 and thinking about things, and I saw a video on a flat leveling curve, and it wasn't really on the topic, but it was just sort of on about... The fact that Guild Wars 2 has a flat leveling curve and it got me thinking about what it actually means to the game and I thought up a few interesting points I feel so I thought you know I might as well come on and share them with you and so today's Flitted Talks Guild Wars 2 is going to be on the leveling curve. So if you have no idea what I'm on about, basically in Guild Wars 2 there is going to be a flat leveling curve. Now you're probably used to if you play MMOs or if you don't what usually happens is you start you start out as level one and you're sort of you know leveling really quickly it takes you probably about an hour usually to get to around level six and from there on it gets harder and harder every level you go and it takes longer and longer and yeah 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 and basically as you level up the longer it takes to get to the next level whereas Guild Wars 2 have come at it or arena net have come at it and for we want to throw this out the window because this isn't how we want games to be played or our game to be played. We want it to be nice and simple. We don't want it to be a grind. We want people to just be able to get on and enjoy the content. So their leveling curve does not progress level by level. So in other words, when you're leveling in the game, it's not going to take longer each level you go. And I really, 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 really like this mechanic in the game because it, it just makes it so much better and so much more fun. The amount of times I've got to, I've leveled a character to like, let's put it in wow leveling terms. Okay, so at the moment, max level is 85. So you can imagine yourself getting to around level 75 or so and you just think, oh my gosh, you just think 75 and you think it's going to take me absolutely ages to get to 76. And you get to 76 and you're like, oh, oh. And it's just not a nice feeling. So. The fact that it's just a flat leveling curve makes it so much more appealing to me to be able to just go on and play the same character day in day out without having to worry about having to grind. And another thing that you probably wouldn't realise thinking about this, you probably think, oh yeah, so they want people to get to level 80 quicker, you can make those little ults, you know, they want people to explore the land and yada yada yada. But I think it does change the game a hell of a lot more than that. First off, you are not going to feel restricted because if you think about the old sort of leveling system where you progress level by level, you're restricted to a certain area due to your level. And I mean, obviously if you're level 5 you're not going to jump into a level 80 area and just kill things and what have you. But you can feel free to explore, you don't have to stay to one questing zone. You know like in those, those areas where you sort of think, oh man I really wish I can just get to this zone because it looks so awesome but I'm having to do all these annoying boring quests in this area which I really don't like and it, it takes away that RPG feel, you can't go out and explore, you can't do anything you really want to do and the flat leveling curves means that you can just be in a level 5, 5 to 10 area which is a massive zone and just go wherever you like quite literally and just look for different events that are going on and being able to play with whoever you like as well as if you think if you've got that friend who is just a hardcore MMO player and you'll get on and you're just nice and casual you just like to chill out and just kill things and talk to people and chill out and just do some crafting or whatever you like to do I don't know but you've got this friend who's just like power leveling it through to 80 and you're like level 10 when he's like level 40 and you're just like oof come on I can't keep up with you or if you're the level 40 and you're just like scrub catch up or be left behind you know vice versa it doesn't matter because that level 40 with the um the level balancingness that they're doing as well where the level 40 can come come down to like level 10 and he'll have the stats of about a level 15 and be able to level with you through your zone and the fact that it's a flat leveling curve means that he pretty much gets the same amount of experience he would anyway at level 40 than he does helping you so he's not there like oh i really don't want to power level you because i'm trying to get to level 80 as fast as i can and you're just level 10. he's there just thinking oh my friend's online i'm going to go level with him in this area and the fact that that area that you might have been at before can have a completely different look due to the dynamic event system 
that when you go back and help out your friend, you could just be like, wow, I can't believe I missed out all this awesome stuff when I was just power leveling it through. Because you can revisit areas and just go absolutely crazy. I suppose this leveling curve as well makes it so that the end game is less of an objective, it's less of a focus for Arena Net because usually the grind is so hard to get up to the end game, the last level, the final level, that when you get there, the person is expecting you as a player, you're just expecting a lot. You're thinking, I have put months into getting to this level. So I want a hell of a lot of content when I'm here through all the, for the amount of effort I've put in. But if, I'm not saying you don't have to put in effort to get to the max level. I'm just saying the fact that it's a flat leveling curve means that you're constantly exploring all of the land. I mean, when you're level 80, you can still be in a level 30 zone having as much fun as you would in a level 80 zone. So the focus on the end game content isn't end game. The focus on the content is just the game as a whole. If they're trying to make a dynamic event, they won't be thinking, oh, well, where can we put this? Shall we make a new item? They'll be thinking, well, this isn't a level 80 dynamic event. This is just a dynamic event. It isn't just a level 30 dynamic event. It's a dynamic event. They want it to be big and bold from as soon as you step into the game. I think from the videos we've seen so far, I mean, this point can only be taken by when you actually play the game, but from levels 1 to 10, I think there's certain dynamic events in there that you will just have to train yourself on, and they're put there because it is a level 1 to 10 dynamic event, and if you're level 80, you won't enjoy it because it's too easy, but it's just an introductory event, but I think, I personally feel that when you get to, like, level 40, which is, actually, I suppose... When you get to about level 20 onwards, all those events can be played through by everyone and just, you know, have a really fun time whether you're level 80 or level 20. It's just the mechanics of these events and the boss fights are going to be equal to that of just a, a normal raid or a normal boss we're used to now. So when you are level 80, it's most likely going to be the case that you're going to be looking in the chat, you're going to be asking your friends or your guilds what's happening, and they might say to you, oh, in... Bukujuku land, which is a level 50 area if you didn't know, you know, copyright, phyletic, whatever. Then you can just go on, go over to Bukujuku land and have just as much fun as you would do in a level 80 zone. Because the bosses, dynamic events are just as good there. So the focus isn't at level 80, you're not going to turn level 80 and then there's going to be all these things you can do. Extra, yes there is, you can do extra things at level 80, however... The content is just there, it's out there in the world. And this is all due to the leveling curve. Because now, if there was a high steep leveling curve like before, then a dynamic event system, I personally think this wouldn't work. Because if you spent all this time getting to level 80 and then you find yourself going back to level 30 to do stuff, then why would you bother getting to level 80 in the first place, you know? So I feel that the leveling curve is to really emphasize the fact that you can just go out and explore and have as much fun as you want wherever you go and get equal amount of reward for that happening. I suppose one thing you could think of is if you're a new player and you didn't decide to buy Guild Wars 2 when it like initially came out and you're one, two months into the game's release and you think, oh, okay, I'm going to buy this game and you get to about level 30 and then... All of a sudden you go to this big awesome dynamic event and you think oh yeah this is cool and then all of a sudden there's like 50 level 80s there and you're just like well that's not cool because it sort of makes you feel bad for not being as awesome as them they've got all their skills they've got all these awesome armor pieces and you're just there as a level 30 like i just want to play with other level 30s i don't want these awesome level 80s coming along and just owning everything up instead of me being able to do the same but I suppose the argument against this is the fact that the scaling system means that they won't be level 80, they would actually be the equivalent of level 35, so they still have a bit of an edge, but they're not, they're all, all that it's going to be is that they're going to look better than you because they'll probably have better gear, but their stats won't be better than yours, and I suppose the way the gear works, because the fact that you can, if you're level 80, you can make your gear look like it's level 30 gear anyway, like WoW sort of implemented now if you still play that game, and... Yeah, so I don't think it's going to be a big problem. I just think it's going to be probably a bit of a shock for most MMO players that, you know, you got people of all levels everywhere. But I think once people get used to it and used to the idea of dynamic events and how they scale and how they get pushed back and forth, 
And personally, I think level eighties would be too busy trying to trigger really big dynamic events that are probably more end game style. Oh as in yes, level 70 to Ladies 80 dynamic events where that's where they get their awesome gear and they probably won't be too bothered about the 30 dynamic events. It kind of contradicts what I said before, but like I said, the game isn't out yet, so I'm just exploring the options, I suppose. But I suppose to wrap it all up on this one point that I've made about the leveling curve is the fact that because it's a flat leveling curve, means that you can just explore anywhere you want to. However beneficial to you, it might be to stay in the level 70 to 80 zone because those dynamic events offer the best rewards to your character. You can still go back and enjoy a level 30 dynamic event that you found absolutely awesome when it's triggered. You can just think, oh, that dragon's just been triggered at level 30. I really enjoyed that. I'm going to go back there and just play it because I can and because I get benefit from the same reward as I would do when I'm level 80. However, it's probably best for me to stay in these end game sort of 70 to 80 dynamic events because that offers the best experience for me. But it's all open. You're not just going to be sitting in a city just spamming jump on a mailbox, pull it that way. You're going to be out there exploring the land and just generally having fun. And the amount of things they're going to implement in the future, as in hotfix, well hotfixes, as in I think they might just put in random dynamic events that they don't tell us about and stuff like this. The game's going to be very immersive and just awesome as a whole. So that's one or two points I had on leveling curves. Tell me what you think about it because it is quite a big thing, the leveling curve, because the amount of alts that you can make, the amount of different characters you can have if you're like a really hardcore player. It's not going to take you long at all to get to the end level. And what is your opinion? Do you like it? Do you prefer it? Or do you prefer the other option where it just, you know, scales level by level and gets harder and harder? Do you like the grind? You know, what do you think about it? Leave a comment below. And of course, if you like the video, give it a like. And the favourites really help me. So I'll see you guys next time.